Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Italian TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary Ice Spy going on here now. Lots been going on recently. Uh, various things been found on, on Mars. Today, we're just going to have a look at a very small object, which I discovered last night when I was browsing through the latest images from Sol 1309. We got, we got the page up here. This is Sol 1309. And interesting set. There's, now you've got some with lots of background stuff like these up here, there's about five or six of them here, and you can actually see the, the lake bed uh, in, the, in the distance there, which is pretty cool, but very vague, and, and these are quite badly damaged images, as they have been recently. Uh, so the close-up detail is just as poor as the distant detail in the background. It's really, really grungy. Uh, so, but there are a few ways you can deal with that, and I'll show you that now. If you, if you were uh, a regular on my channel, you would have seen how I do this. Uh, there's a few basic steps you can take with these images to clean them up a bit and try and gain some more detail out of them because basically they are pretty grungy. Um, so let's go straight in and have a look at what we've got here. Now, this is one of the images from the bottom of the set showing the foreground. Now, uh, very grungy image. When you zoom into this, it just breaks up lots and lots of uh, blocks in here where it's been compressed Com these are compression marks uh, so the shadowy areas are even worse than the light lighter areas here because basically when, when an image is compressed uh, the computer decides that the darker areas have got less information in them so it actually compresses it, the image out of them there more and removes more information from those darker areas which is why the shadows always look so terrible uh, but there is still some information to be gained from these images. Um, now, this one was over here on the on the right, uh, about halfway up. You've got this little ridge line here, and we have a very strange object just here. Now, it doesn't look very clear, I admit that, but there is a way around that. You can actually clean this up a bit, and you can see some detail. We have a very strange object, mechanical-looking object, with a lever sticking out. Okay. Uh, and there's also this weird little thing here, which looks like a piece of wreckage, just here. You can see what may be part of something. Don't really know what that is. Very hard to tell with these images. Um, so what I did, I enlarged the image. Now the image starts off at around uh, 1300 pixels. Let's have a look at the size here a minute. Yeah, 1344 by 1200. So it's not a huge image to start with. Uh, but what I, what I do is enlarge it to about 3000, but I increase the pixel density from 200 ppi to 2000, right? And I've also color corrected this. What I've done is used fade correction and I've, sh I've uh, used a bit of Gaussian blur with a radius of about one. And that just kind of gets rid of all that blockiness that you get from the compression marks. And you can see this is much cleaner, this image. This cleaned it right up. And you can actually now start to see some real detail. And I've also, I've also added some contrast to it and sharpened it a little bit as well. And now we can see what we have here with a little handle just here. Uh, a joint here, like an arm sticking out. And a very strange object here with a very straight edge to it here. Now, I do wonder whether this has been manipulated, uh, this part of the image. I, I don't really know. Um, there are some strange, some quite straight lines here, but these are just where the sun is peeking through between these cracked rocks here, uh, and the shadows are kind of, kind of, quite straight coming down, and you're getting these beams of light almost coming through the rock because of the angle of the sun and the angles of the rocks. Uh, but let's let's have a closer look at it anyway. I've done some clips of it already, and I've got it up here. There's there's also one or two other things in this soul as well uh, taken on this day. But for now, we're just going to look at this. We'll come back to those other things in the background uh, in, in the next video. There is a lot to see in some of these images, especially if you en enhance the background. So here's that thing. This is the rule clip. And as you can see, it's pretty grungy. And you've got these squares running through the whole thing, which kind of break the image up. But if you enlarge it, like I said, and then Gaussian blur it, radius of one, color correct it a bit, you can actually start to see something. And you have what has it looks like a mechanical object, or at least part of a mechanical object here, with a, a clear joint here, like a handle sticking out with a 
some kind of joint there, like like a one armed bandit or sort of like the arm of a robot. Or I have absolutely no idea what this is. Absolutely no idea. If any of you guys out there uh, have got an idea what this could be, part of, then leave a comment. I I, I have absolutely no idea. I'm kind of clutching at straws as usual. You do have to give these things names, really, when you, when you're making a video. Because otherwise, you know, it, it's fairly pointless. Um, this is a slightly closer clip of it, which has been enhanced a bit more. I've actually gone in here and played with the contrast a bit to try and drag out some of this detail. On, on uh, PaintShop Pro, there is a really cool function called Clarify, which is kind of an auto brightness and, and contrast function. And it really darkens the shadows and brightens the light bits at the same time, which is really cool. Um, I'll show you that now, actually. I use it quite a lot, and, and you don't. I don't think you get it on photo, Photoshop, and this may be why I, I get slightly more defined results than some channels out there, um, because uh, even though this is a more primitive program, PaintShop Pro 7, which is free, it has got some simple but very useful features on it, which actually speed up the process uh, and the processing of images. And you spend a lot less time searching through menus. Everything's in a very quick menu, and a lot of them are shortcuts, you know. So it, Paint, uh, PaintShop Pro, in some ways, is better than than, uh, than Photoshop, because Photoshop basically is a bit overcomplicated. There's a lot of stuff on there you really don't need. And uh, unless you're obfuscating images like NASA and you want to cover things up, you don't really need the clone tool. You don't really need a lot of these tools. Uh, so there we are. There we are. Uh, there, there was a, another thing. Uh, uh, hang on a minute. There was another thing in this set of images. Let's go to here, which is in a, in a different image. Uh, I think it's this one here. Now this has been, I've already color corrected this and enhanced it slightly. I've cleaned it up. Uh, you have what may be an object sitting on this rock here. Now this rock's really weird because it seems like it's joined to the rock behind it, which it also seems like it's joined to the rock behind that. But that's probably an optical illusion, just this straight line here where they just happen to line up at this angle. Uh, but it looks like some kind of shovel here. And in fact, you can see a, what looks like a handle and a sort of blade, a shovel blade. It could be wrong, could be something else. Um, don't know what that is. It might even just be part of the rock that's kind of cracked in a funny way. But if you look really carefully, you can actually see where it looks like the handle kind of is inset into this end piece here. You can actually see, I'll show you the enhancement of that because you can probably see it more clearly here and yes this is another grungy image a terrible blurry piece of crap but and this is a, this object's only what uh, <laughs> five inches long you know it's really small um, it's angled away from us it's hard to say exactly but you can actually see here I've actually picked out the detail here where th this handle looks like it's joined to this thing whatever it is whether it's a shovel or a hammer or something else or an axe or it could be some kind of primitive tool don't know it may not be none of the above, it may just be uh, a random piece of rock that looks like uh, something. And it kind of seems to be joined to this thing below, but you can't really tell because the image has been so badly damaged. Um, but it does look like this handle is kind of inset into this thing here. You can see where it joins here. I've just picked that out with a bit of uh, contrast. So there we go. Those are both from Sol 1309. Uh, there are more things in 1309 in the background. Um, but I'm going to save them for my next video because these are huge structures which are miles away uh, behind this ridge line here. In fact, I'll, I'll give you a quick glimpse of it now if it's going to load up. There we go. Um, this is the same area. Uh, we've got the ridge line here. Now I've really darkened it up the top here and you can see what it looks like some kind of intelligent structure here, like a, a huge bunker or something with kind of buildings. Now, the image is badly, badly damaged, of course. You can see the compression lines, and this has been cleaned up. So it was a lot worse than this before. And I'm sure this is exactly why they do this to the images, is because basically it's difficult to gain any real detail um, in the image and, and, and have any sort of real assurance about what you're looking at. But there's something going on here anyway, which looks like like a part of a dam or part of a, a huge bunker system or something like that. There's this, this very bright area with a kind of, I don't know, like an entrance or something, like a massive entrance to it here. I mean, and there's even kind of structures below this as well. But 
we can't see them in any detail because it's been removed uh, and this is exactly why they do it so that's all for today folks on this one um, I'll put some close-ups of this in at the end uh, and it, like I said if you've got any ideas what you think this could be and zooming in too far doesn't help you can't see any more detail if you do that it's better to sit back a bit and look at it it has a it's kind of joined on here has a nice arm and a handle here and it's joined to what looks like part of a I don't know some kind of machine some kind of device don't know is it some sort of one-armed bandit type thing or is it part of some uh, steam engine or or what could it possibly be it has a very straight edge to it here you can see the very straight shadow just there and you've got detail internally here which look like kind of cogs or mechanisms so what is it answers on the postcard as usual thanks for watching everybody i will see you soon